Hello everybody, we're Little Mezcal, and today we're going to be trying La Jamana Raicilla. This was a gift that was given to us by our friend Joe. Big shout out to you, Joe. Thank you for thinking of us while you were out in Puerto Vallarta. Um, this is not a mezcal, it is a raicilla. And if you're not familiar, raicilla does fall under the umbrella of mezcal, but it can only be made in 16 municipalities in the state of Jalisco and one municipality in the state of Nayarit. Uh, this is made with agave maximiliana. The maestro reciero is Tacho Guzman. This was cooked in a stone oven and it was double distilled in steel as opposed to copper. The ABV is 40% and um, there is some differences between things that are imported to the U.S. They tend to be higher in ABV than some of the mezcal or raicilla that you find being sold in Mexico. So the ABV doesn't really have any difference, just has to do with... Regulations. Yeah, regulations. So. Come take a sip with this. It's it's kind of lactic, but I'm getting like chocolate or cacao a little bit. Like it's mm. it's a little like fun, but it's a little sweeter, not as potent. Yeah, this isn't as cheesy as a mm -hmm. lot of the other other raicillas that we've had. It's almost like a dark chocolate note to it for me. I can see what you're saying. Yeah. I'm getting um, a little like wood. Yeah like wood and earthy notes mm -hmm. huh that's not good though it does smell good I can see what you're saying about the cacao it's not I had this uh, anticipation of a, a lactic bomb and yeah I'm not getting that good. yeah so I'll see that the... off the bat the texture is really thin mm-hmm Mm. Now it's getting fresh on the back end. Like, um, kind of a little minty. I was going to say mouth washing. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm getting. Like, a lot of Raisia tends to be kind of funky. Or what we've had. This is very kind of refreshing at, mm -hmm. the, at the back end when you exhale. It's like that morning after you brush your teeth, that feels good. It feels like, um,. I'm getting a lot of, uh, like you said, herbal. I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of the dish, but there's like a, something with like Greek food, if they ha it has a lot of fresh parsley. Mm. Or maybe I'm thinking of pesto. But it's, it's, really, uh, it's really herbal, and like you said, on the exhale, I get that like bright freshness. This is, um, this is really nice. I feel like... This is a good palate cleanser. I know. If that makes any sense. I don't want to like. I, okay, we had dinner, and I feel now, that my I was worried about tasting this because my palate was not. I don't think it was ready. But tasting this, I feel like it's kind of lit up my mouth and taking away some of that food taste. Okay. Yeah. So when you said mouthwash, yeah, <laughs> you get that. It's a little dry, mm -hmm. I'd say. There is a little initial sweetness to it. But then it's just bright like mint herbs. That's good. Yeah, this is definitely one that you would probably, yeah, like you said, start your night off with. Yeah. Not one that <laughs> I think you would get lost and you it wouldn't get much... Uh, on your palate if you're drinking something really cheesy and lactic or a really heavy pechuga mezcal yeah. it would get just kind of lost on your palate this is like a start off your night like you said yeah wow so now letting it sit for a little bit I smell more wood really I'm getting more herbs like for me, the cacao thing is kind of going away now. Mm -hmm. But it smells like pine to me. I could see that. I like that it says that it's made in Mexico. 
with love. <laughs> I think that is, um, I don't know, just like with food. Yeah. It's like when your grandma cooks for you. Not only is it really good because your grandma's cooking it for you, but it's made with love. So I think that's really cool that they put that on the label. Yeah. Get it more wood. Now that you're drinking Flavor. it? Yeah. But you're not getting it on the smell? I'm not getting it on the smell. Like, I can see where you're talking about wood, but I'm not. I'm getting herbs. But I kind of get what you're interpreting. Or, I don't know. What I'm, no one's really wrong, but. The, the freshness is dissipating and I'm getting more wood on the flavor and on the smell. I'm seeing a little funkier in my hand. And now it's getting dry wood. You know, because of the freshness, I would probably really enjoy drinking this with like some shrimp ceviche. Oh. You know? Yeah. the flavors because it's so light but this is really good um yeah now i want to make some ceviche and, <laughs> and drink this with it that would be pretty good yeah well thank you very much joe thanks joe we appreciate the bottle and for you thinking of us um a little background we shared Plenty of copitas with Joe at Misterio yeah. Mezcal Bar out here in Vegas. And we had such a good time um, making that connection. Um, looking forward to the next time you come out to Vegas. Come have a sip with us again. Definitely. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to have some more Raicia in our collection. Because oh. I feel like that's one, uh, one spirit, agave spirit, that we don't have a big collection of at this time. Yeah, and this is definitely like breaking the norm because I know it's not always going to be funky, but like all the, like the recios that we have at our house are always funky note ones, mm -hmm. um, but not all recios funky, and this is a great example of not funky recio. Yeah. So it's a good uh, change of pace. Mm -hmm. It's how much, how much we have to learn about recio. It's a learning experience. Yeah, we're just dipping our toes in the water. Yep. Okay. Well... I don't have anything else to add. No. Thanks for taking a sip with us. Salsita.